Virgos, hey lovies, welcome back to your tarot reading and oracle card reading for today. It's about to be a quick read. We're about to have a little bit of fun and then right after this I'm going to do your reading. Um, so, we're going to see what, what your person's intentions are towards you, whoever is thinking about you or who might be on your mind. We're going to be doing all signs. So welcome, come on in guys, let's have some fun. I'm sending you my multi multitude of love, light, and positive energy, of course. It's Empress Meek, and this is Closer to My Destiny's Tea. And guys, I appreciate all the love and support you are giving me and our new channel. Thank you for bringing it to life over there. Thank you for helping me create a heartbeat over there. I am so grateful. I love you. Thank you for booking with me. Thank you for all your donations and all your beautiful blessings and well wishes. I really appreciate you guys. Always got to stop and give love, right? I got to let you know. Okay. So, Virgo, let's go ahead and get into it. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels. Thanks for bringing me here once again with my soul tribe, my family, my lovey, lovey, loveys. Virgos, thank you for all you do in the divine realm. Thank you for giving us blessings and abundance and overflow in all lives. Thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face. Thank you for healing our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Keeping us out of the way of any hurt, harm, or danger. And blocking and binding any witchcraft or anything that may be trying to come up against this channel or your will for our lives. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay, let's get into it. Spirit, show me clear messages for my Virgos who are dealing with A. Let's start with air. Gemini. Virgos dealing with a Gemini. What does Virgo need to know, Spirit? Thank you, ancestors, guys, for clear messages for my lovies. Whew. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, Virgos, it may be time for you to unplug. Working less will help you strengthen this relationship if this is a romantic relationship. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and pull... Let's see. We're going to pull one message card from this Gemini. What does Gemini have to say to my Virgo? Somebody can feel free to timestamp. I appreciate it, guys. You deserve better than me. Wow. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, they feel like you deserve better than them. All right. This person probably is going through some type of um, dark night of the soul or some type of stressful situation. For Gemini, um, for Virgo dealing with a Gemini, what's happening in this situation? They deserve better than you. Why? Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So, yeah, some growth is happening here. So, just unplug from this situation for the time being. If this is romantic, family or friend, this person needs some time. Hold on, lovies. One sec. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that was so loud. Sorry about that, guys. You know, my um daughter had to call me because she's at work, a little working lady now. So, anyway, yes, this is what was happening if you're dealing with the Gemini. So, just unplug. This situation is going to unfold naturally. This person is going through some type of, um, some type of, um, awakening. Yeah, this person is, um, healing some inner child issues within themselves. So, they're not able to love you the right way right now, Virgo. Spirit, thank you so much for my Virgos. I'm dealing with a Libra. Virgos dealing with a Libra. I don't know what made me do this, guys. <laughs> Gemini dealing with a Libra. Virgo dealing with a Libra. Just wait. Timing is not quite right. So if you're thinking about coming toward this Libra to talk, timing is not quite right. Gemini dealing with a Libra. Why is wait here? Okay. So hand of cards and healing the heart. So some healing is going on here. Um, and somebody is being strategic. Somebody is, um, it'll be a little bit risky right now while this person is healing if you try to go toward them. Or you're healing. So it's going to be risky for you. All right. So let's see. Oh, one more. But Virgo is dealing with uh, Libra. Yeah, this person could be a bit reckless. This person could kind of be unpredictable. Sometimes they act without thinking. I feel like there's limited accountability here too at the time. So just let this situation heal. Aquarius and Virgo. What's going on with Virgos dealing with an Aquarius? Virgos and Aquarius. Obstacles. So unhealed wounds, okay? Black and forward movement in this connection. Virgos in this Aquarius spirit. What is this saying? 
somebody is wearing a mask and not showing their true feelings somebody is not um being honest here or sincere somebody is telling you the things that they want to hear um really this person really needs to go through some type of healing it's something going on with this person if you're dealing with an aquarius okay show me virgo dealing with an aquarius what do they need to know about this connection right so somebody could be in prison somebody could be being resilient or you're being called to be resilient right now in this situation and just let things play out um i feel like you feel like it's an up going uphill battle you could have been waiting for somebody um somebody could yeah somebody could definitely be in some trouble or just feeling a bit um lackluster just tired um just ready for things to be at a result okay all right let's move on to fire virgos dealing with a uh leo virgos dealing with the leo spirit show me clear messages holy angels ancestors and guides virgo dealing with the leo forgiveness is required for virgos dealing with the leo forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward in this connection or in general virgos dealing with the leo what's happening with virgos and leo What's happening with Virgos and Leo? Oh, somebody sabotaged a connection here. There was true love here. Or somebody wants to re... Ah, oh, forgiveness. So this Leo may want to come and rebuild things with you. Keep his arrow strikes. This Leo may be coming towards you unexpectedly. You're not going to be expecting this, but Leo may be coming towards you, Virgo, to fix things. They want forgiveness for something that they've done. Show Virgo what you want them to know about them dealing with the Leo, Virgo and Leo. Um, you may have to stand your ground here or you're standing up for your beliefs and fighting in your own corner. So you're telling this person you're determined, your foot is down, boundaries are set, you're taking the high road, okay? Whatever this was and you didn't argue with this person. I feel like you stood your ground and they didn't have any choice but to oblige, okay, honey? They had to oblige uh leo aries virgo's dealing with the aries apology you can expect the apology you want to hear so virgos if you're waiting for this aries to come and apologize they coming honey they know it too they know they they come in some type of addiction or codependent obsession could be here with you in this aries or there's a block and a restraint okay let's see what else does um virgo need to know about this aries Hey, um, this Aries could be having money problems. This um, person could be going through unexpected changes financially, um, bankruptcy, or just going broke. Okay, learning huge lessons when it comes to um, being wasteful. All right, Virgos dealing with a uh, Sage. Virgos dealing with a Sage. So my Virgos dealing with a Sage. All right, Virgo. So the one that flipped over was Leap of Faith. It is safe to make the move you're considering. So some of you are thinking about moving forward with the Sag or leaving a Sag or whatever you're thinking about doing with this Sag. Spirit is telling you it is safe to take this leap of faith. Virgo with the Sag. All right. Forward movement. Okay. So you're receiving what you need. Progression arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. So there's something going on with you being able to take a leap of faith. I feel like you you guys want things to work out with this person, but I feel like something is going on. Um, there's issues here. Um, some type of talk, forgiveness, clarity, something is needed here before you're able to go on, and you will get that. This person is thinking passionate about you. This could be somebody younger than you. This could be a child, but they're also enthusiastic, enthusiastic about healing this with you. So let's do Virg, um, let's do Earth signs. Earth signs, Earth signs, Earth signs. Virgos dealing with a Virgo. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Guides. Virgo dealing with a Virgo. Whoa. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. So Virgo dealing with a Virgo. Warning. There are red flags there. You are called not to dismiss them. Show Virgo what they need to see about this other Virgo, please. Okay. 
the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bomb. And this person was just telling you whatever you wanted to hear. So don't believe the hype. I'm feeling like one of you are just in it for the clout or fun. Yeah, judgment is here. So this is um, a situation where you need to do a self-evaluation. You need to figure out exactly what situation you were in here with this person. Why didn't you see that this person was tricking you? Or do you notice? Or what can you learn from this situation so you won't repeat it moving forward? Um, I feel like somebody was just finessing, saying what they want, say, saying what they needed to say to get what they wanted. All right. And so forgiveness, forgive yourself, possibly. Um but judgment is here. Take a self-evaluation about this situation with this other Virgo. Virgos dealing with the Taurus. Virgos dealing with the Taurus spirit. Show Virgo clear messages. Virgo dealing with the Taurus. Wait. The timing is not quite right. So with this Taurus, you're being told to wait. Wait and see what happens. Don't force it. Don't try to control it. Just don't do anything. When you love something, you love it enough to let it go to see if it's meant for you, right? Engagement ring. Whoa. Engagement, partnership, commitment, completion, union. Somebody may be ending up getting engaged to a Taurus. This Taurus may come back for you. Somebody, if you're um, <laughs> if you're wondering what's going on with the Taurus, this person may be planning on coming back to you. Hold on, guys. I didn't even get a chance to ask. <sighs> there could be a bit of toxicity here or there's a strong bond between you and this Taurus. Jeez, the devil came out. All right. So with Virgos and the Taurus, show Virgo what they need to see about this Taurus and waiting. This is engagement. What? Virgo said what? Wow. It's a yes. So you're going to get this communication or you're going to get clarity if you just wait. This Taurus is going to come and bring you some clarity. There's going to be new plans. Um, you guys are going to have some type of talk. This person is going to express, express the truth. And you're going to see what their vision is. All right? This Taurus has been thinking about you a lot. They're quiet. They're not saying anything. Virgo's dealing with the El Capitan. Virgo, Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn spirit. Virgo's dealing with a Capricorn um wrong card but i'm gonna keep this right here because i wasn't supposed to pick that first so but this is good though this capricorn is going to come towards you with some type of, of romantic expression or talking to you letting you know being passionate showing you um that they care detached with love to clearly see the truth so maybe you need to step back from this capricorn a little bit they probably are love bombing you with this knight of cups energy um they could be kind of Telling you what you need to know. I feel like they're admiring you though. Um, this person is very quick on their feet and quick with their words. But this person is following their heart when they're coming towards you. Um, and there could be some type of romantic proposal. But somebody's in denial here. So, because there's something. Some kind of red flag. Let me see. Virgo's dealing with the Capricorn. Show Virgo what they need to see about dealing with this Capricorn. I want to see what this top card is. It just slid out. That was not it. I was like, what is this card? I need to shuffle some more, guys. All right. Virgo's dealing with the Capricorn. All right. So, we got two here. You need to step away to see the truth. You're in denial about this whole thing about them being so into you because you're right. They're lying. All right. Somebody was gaslighting you, saying whatever they wanted to say with these sunglasses here. They took the time to scan you a little bit, felt like they knew you enough, and then they went in for the kill. Some of them just told you whatever. Okay. Um, and this is behind passion. So what they really wanted was passion with you. Um, and you know that you you know that this person is just trying to sweet talk you, trying to finesse you. Some of you feel that that was Capricorn. Okay. So this person is not really expressing how they really feel when it comes to their love for you or caring. Right now they don't it's, that's not mutual, it's not reciprocated. All right, let's move on to Wata. Virgo's dealing with water signs. Let's start with Scorpio. Virgo's dealing with Scorpio. Virgo's dealing with Scorpio spirit. What do they need to know about dealing with this Scorpio? Wow. Self-care, shout out. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. 
So, some of you need to clear your energy field from this Scorpio. You know, they're highly intuitive. They know how to connect with you in the 5D. They can connect with you in every way. So, you definitely have to be careful and cleanse your energy. It's time to focus on you. Some The Scorpio has somebody in their head heavy. Okay? You're not going to figure them out. They are the master of deception if they want to be. So, just... <laughs> You have to use your intuition. If your intuition is blocked because of love, which happens a lot when you're in a karmic situation or a twin flame um, relationship where you're learning from each other. And a lot of times that's what Scorpio and Virgos are. So anyway, with that being said, let's see why you got to take care of yourself. We got um, the engagement ring came out in the reverse. So somebody got some plans, um, their plans dampened, like somebody just ruined your plans you had a plan for future with this person you ended up having to walk away some of it is real marriage some of it's common law some of you are engaged you called it off you know but yeah you had to make a change for the better virgo dealing with scorpio show me clearly spirit yeah you're just working focusing working building not even thinking about that right so okay Spirit wants you to know to keep working on yourself and stay on your path and stay focused. I felt like stay focused on what you're doing. Don't worry about them. All right. Virgo's dealing with a cancer. Virgo's dealing with a cancer. Virgo's dealing with a cancer. Let me see. All right, guys. Okay, we got trust for the cancer. It's safe to trust in this situation. So for those of you who have a cancer, now take it how it resonates. Do not say Empress Me told you to trust a dog. No, I did not. Use your intuition, but if you're if this resonates and you know that the energy surrounding this relationship or connection or friendship is good, it is safe for you to trust it. Keys on the ring, many options, decisions, string along the one night stand. That's crazy. <laughs> Why does they trust this situation? One more Virgo is dealing with the cancer. So maybe it's a different situation. Maybe you and the cancer, maybe it's not about cheating that time. Maybe it's about you just being strategic because, look, this relationship deserves a, a second chance. Um, but this person, one of you can have a lot of options. That's all. And, you have, and you know, it, you have to be strategic. But this cancer, if you guys get back together, this is also the one night stand card. So they're only going to be able to give you passion. They're not going to be able to give you love. Look, it will be a loss if you deal with this cancer, okay? So you could give this relationship a second chance and it deserves one, but is it going to serve you? That's the question. See, you have to remember, tarot is still requiring you to use your own intuition, right? Because you have free will in that way. Pisces, we're going to deal with the Pisces. Wow. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Retreat. Halt. Run. Fast as you can. Time alone in nature will help you recharge. This Pisces the, took you on a ride. So I feel like for Virgos who are dealing with Pisces, it's a lot going on here and you don't want any parts of it. So they're the same warning. Show me for Pisces and Virgo. Yeah. It says relationship evolving to the an inner child healing that came so your relationship here with this Pisces will not grow. There won't be any growth here. Why? Because this person is too self-indulgent. They're too worried about themselves. And then shock and attack. This person is just doing what they want. And also support. There's a lack of support here from this Pisces. So it's saying lean on your inner circle. That just flipped over. Okay. What does Virgo need to see about this Pisces? Here he is, King of Cups. What does Virgo need to know about this Pisces? This person could be seeking spiritual wisdom. This person could be stuck right now. Um, could be losing money, but they're stuck in a situation right now, seeking spiritual guidance um, and seeking a way out of this. <laughs> okay, whatever situation they're in. All right, I've got Queen of Cups, so it could be a King and Queen of Cups. All right, guys, so Virgo, that was your quick read. I wanted to do that. I thought it would be really fun. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know after we pulled out all that energy. Spirit, what's the message here for Virgo? After we saw all that, what does Virgo need to know about these energies? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. 
Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo, Ancestors and Guides. What does Virgo need to know? All right. So Spirit is telling you that you have abundance all around you. Stand your ground, stay firm, be happy, and appreciate everything that you have. Know that you are divinely guided and protected with this nine of coins. Speaking of a prosperous victory. All right, so your life is moving in the right direction. You're about to start seeing a lot of the fruits of your labor, okay? So look, make sure you leave me a comment, baby. I'm telling you it's coming. Knight of Wands energy, fearless action here. All right, so Spirit wants you to be fearless, be bold, go after what you want. Um, make sure that you don't stop until you persevere and don't let anything stop you. Some of you could have a Knight of Wands with their eye on you, want to come towards you, okay? And some of my male Virgos are just handsome, looking good, feeling good, doing amazing, and you're you're happy single. A lot of y'all are happy single. Spirit is saying embrace the moment. Enjoy your single life. The wheel will turn in your favor. Unless you reject it, you're going to get an opportunity to be in love again. Absolutely. Queen of Cups here, intuitive and compassionate, okay? So that be you, Virgo. For some of my female Virgos, yes. And for some of my male Virgos, you got your eye on the Queen of Cups, okay? Or a Queen of Cups has their eye on you. You're staying single, though. I mean, Queen of, yeah. Or this could be your child's mother or mother figure or something like that. Or you're just a natural nurturer, okay? But Spirit is saying, keep going. Don't stop. What else is the advice for Virgo, Spirit? And some of you started saying, just stay by yourself. It's good by yourself. That's the nine of coins came out for your advice. So that is stay single, focus on you, unless you're already in a relationship. Because things are happening very fast for you. Because you're in this Knight of Wands energy where you're passionate, ambitious, and driven, things are happening very, very fast for you. So really, I mean, it's going to be fast action, accelerated movement. Somebody could be giving you a call. It could be a mother figure or... This um could be you Virgo in this Knight of Wands energy call reaching out to somebody. But I feel like overall with this Eight of Wands energy, this is you just moving fast and things happening for you. I feel like this is whatever you're doing, okay? I feel like this is whatever you're doing to create this abundance, right? Um, Yeah, that's what I feel. Anything else, Spirit, before we close out? Yeah, Spirit saying, go ahead, stay in your bag, stay focused, yeah. Page of Wands energy. Somebody could be inquiring about you. You could have somebody about to give you a call and try to talk to you. Could be this Knight of Wands energy coming towards you. All right. Yeah. But this person knows you're single. This could be, yeah, a Knight of Wands energy coming towards you. But Virgo, that's your reading, my loves. I love you, love you, love you. I'm about to do your other full reading. I will talk to you sooner than later, loveys. Bye, Virgo.